Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel uh, and today I'll be showing you another video of how to use the excel sheets that are available on the website um, the, sh that the sheet that we'll be talking about today, that I'll be showing you today is about um, valuing options that are written on fixed income securities uh, in particular on bonds and we'll be using the binomial model to price these options uh, the material here is related to level 2 candidates so you can find the reading as well as the excel sheet under the tab of to uh, level 2 on the website and it will explain to you the reading will explain to you in detail of how uh, how to price the option on fixed income using the binomial model i'll be showing you a quick uh, summary of the important points to remember uh, what's interesting about the binomial model for the fixed income securities, the one that appears on the CFA curriculum, is that it assumes a risk neutral probability of up and down movement of 0 0.5, which simplifies the formulas to a certain extent. And um, in all of in the exercises you will be having, uh, you will have an interest rate, and uh, sorry, interest uh, tree that looks <coughs> similar to the one that you have over here uh, where you can find the interest rates in the cells and the, the ones in borders and below them are numbers the numbers that are in brackets are basically the prices of zero coupon bonds for various maturities so for example this is the price for a one year bond at time of two um, this price, for example, is the one uh, the two year uh, the price of a two year bond at uh, if the economy was in the in this state in the lower state. So those are going to be important here in analyzing the payoffs for the put or call options that are written on the fixed income. The last thing you need to know is that uh, in these cases, when we are valuing options on fixed income securities, the option uh, match the option expiration should happen before maturity, which makes sense because that's the only way in which the option could be exercised. And if you go to the example here, we see we have a diagram that shows the interest uh, rate, the interest tree, the path for a two period, which means uh, it can be written on. I mean, the bond is has a maturity of three years. And the diagram below represents the two period binomial tree and we are trying to price the European put that's written on a bond that will mature and uh, the put will mature, will expire, sorry, in two periods and has an exercise price of 1.01 .01, and the bond, the three year bond, the three period bond that's written, that the put is written on has a 6% coupon rate and $1 face value. So if we go to the Excel sheet, which is again available on under level 2, and you have to enable the content uh, in order to be able to view it, it's macro enabled, we will see that we are only using the three combinations that are commonly used in level 2. All these videos are related to CFA candidates, and therefore we are just focusing on what, what matters for level, uh, for the CFA exam. So if we click over here, we have a strike price of the of the option of 1.01 .01. the option type is a put and the bond phase value is 1 I'll leave the option expiry and bond maturity just for a minute and the coupon rate is 6% and it's already formatted as percent so all you will have to do is to enter 6% now this is the interesting thing here is that if uh, we have only three combinations that you can select from here and it's telling you over here if the option expires in one year and the bond matures in two years you select one and two if the option expires in one year and the bond matures in three years you select one and three if the option expires in two years and the bond matures in three years you select one and three and these are the common ones that are used in the CFA uh, exam so the file was designed based on that so in this case we have bond that ex matures in three years and the option expires in two years so we select this one and we enter the interest rate 3 that we have in the yellow cells 5.13, 6.40, 4.29, .4 4.29, 5.8, 5.9, and, and then finally 3.28. And it's telling you that the put price in this case would be 0 0.0116 and 
we have all the information about the option binomial tree it's over here it's a European bot and this is the exercise it's the strike price array and these are the values over different periods this is pretty much it about valuing options on fixed income using the binomial model and uh, if you have any questions please make sure to email me on my website uh, Please make sure as well to subscribe to the channel, to follow us on the blog in order to get notified about uh, each new post that gets posted, and to follow us on our social networks, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening, and goodbye.